Hi, good day everybody. Rory Konecki here. I just It's a Friday and I just wanted to drop this message. Um, as I said, I was going to give a deadline until the 15th of February if Sam Lee was not arrested or extradited to Australia or America. We are pressing forward with phase two. So what I can tell you is phase two is now officially started and uh, I'm giving everybody two more weeks, only two weeks to join the lawsuit uh, through the Google form that I've put out. Um, I've been promoting this and sharing this with everybody for the last six months and end of February it will be six months. For those that don't get on board then I wish you the best of luck to sort your matters out. Also going forward I'm going to be focusing all my energies and support for those that are supporting the lawsuit as well as we go forward. I think that's only fair so my time will be focused on that as well. Quite interesting to report as well that as you know Sam is uh, and the Hypertech Group have a 1.89 billion uh, fraud case against them in America, in the SEC. We've seen now the uh, Australian Economic Committee wake up and ASIC as well. There was a commentary going back to 2020 and uh, basically what's happened is it's retabled on, on the uh, Economic Committee. So Australia is going to be taking this a lot more ser seriously. And we know, obviously, that Sam is a Australian citizen, meaning that um, jurisdiction control of the citizen. However, when we move forward in Dubai and we start laying those charges against Sam and or the Hypertech group, those matters will be heard in Dubai as well. So until we see Sam extradited or facing the charges or we get the truth and justice, uh, we will continue or I will at least continue until we get some solid answers. Um, I will be communicating as well. There's been a lot of communication with regards to what to do. Sam put out messages for Vidilook and VAV and StableDAO. And with regards to that, it looks like a bit of a mess and things are disappearing. So I'll be communicating to people my best understanding on it. I'm just telling everybody to please record everything. Make sure that all your assets are recorded. Make sure that you've got information recorded, screenshots because that will be important information when we move forward regarding the lawsuit case. Uh, another matter, there was Hyperverse, and then, as I understand it, Sam Lee sold the data to a company called Hyper, or Diaversal, sorry, Diaversal. Now, there was communication out today saying that Diaversal will no longer be using the HBT tokens. They are distancing themselves completely from uh, Hypertech Group, and they'll be communicating again. This tells me once again that uh, you know our data, we need to get an uh, understanding of where our data has been used, what uh, protection we can have. There was also things like the golden parachute. No one or very few people got paid, even though Sam said they were getting paid. VAV, he said people are getting paid. People haven't been paid. Now, I understand Sam is bringing everything into the uh, central sort of database of Vend, a company that he owns, but he said he was duplicating the assets. But when I go back and look at Vidilook and I look at uh, VAV, those assets are not there anymore. So the assets have been moved. So that's another concern for me. So all these things, all these matters, all these questions, this is all going to be part of what we ask in Dubai. And with, re with regards to the lawsuit, if Sam does get extradited to the US or he does get extradited to Australia, we will then review as a community what we want to do from a legal standpoint. But right now, Sam sits safe in Dubai or avoiding, um, let's say, uh, answering any of these questions directly in the courts. So my, my mission is to make sure that we get this in front of the courts and make sure the correct questions are asked and enough attention is placed on this matter moving forward. For those that have supported me, I just want to shout out. It's been a long journey. Thank you very much. We over 14,422 people that want to see truth, that want to see justice and a chance of getting their money back. I'm not making any promises about getting money back, but I am saying that I'm committed to this process and I will carry on with this process until we see justice or some resolution. This goes for Hypertech Group, uh, Hyperverse, HyperDAO, Hyper, all these hypers that are out there, Hyperfund. It's time to get justice. Then we've also got StableDAO. Um, we are Satoshi, I'm looking at it as well. Uh, definitely while Sam was involved. There's a lot of people that have lost a lot of money. 
Sam was supposed to have written contracts. He hasn't done that. I know of people that have contacted me directly. So if you're one of those people that put in a hundred odd thousand, twenty five thousand, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, you will have an opportunity to engage with me and we'll add that onto our uh, cause and case as we do things in Dubai. But for the rest of you, thank you so much for your support. Uh, let's see where it gets to. As I'm just ending off saying, two more weeks I have communicated. For those people that are not part of the client portal that will be launching, um, I'm not going to be able to engage with you to support you because I want to support the people that are supporting this initiative to move forward. And uh, I think that's only fair to them that I can focus on that time. But otherwise, that's it from me. Uh, the guys that are or everybody that's on the distribution list will be getting an updated email on the steps of what to do. I will be hosting one more meeting this weekend. I will do a, a YouTube live and that's it with regards to supporting people out there in the network. All the groups that are currently open, I will be closing those groups that I control in the next two weeks, meaning you will need to source and find your own information. I will be working with those people that want to work with me to seek a resolution and get answers on their assets. Otherwise, have an awesome weekend and we'll be talking soon. Bye.